Running Dino on AWS Lambda? Sure, you can do that. With AWS Lambda, the serverless pricing can allow you to save money over a VPS. And it can be easier to maintain because you can auto scale behind the scenes. To make that work, we're going to use the AWS Lambda adapter project to make sure that our Dino.serve function is going to run as we expect it to. So this is a really popular approach for working with AWS because it allows for more control, flexibility, and consistency. So over here in our Docker file, we're going to make sure that we have the AWS Lambda adapter. We're going to set the caches, and then we're going to run our app. Now from here, what we can do is build our Docker image so that it's ready to go. So we'll say Docker build dash T, my Dino project dot. Next, we'll need to start interfacing with AWS. So if this is your first foray into the world of AWS, you can always create an account here. We want to make sure that we have the AWS CLI installed, which we can do by running AWS. This should give us a list of commands, and this means that this is installed. From here, we will make sure that we are configured appropriately. Here we want to type AWS configure. This is going to walk us through setting our access key, our secret access key, and our default region, as well as the default format. So all of this can be found over in the security credentials area of your account. So you can find all of that there. You can find your account ID up here and that's easy access anytime you need it. I will be deleting this account ID right after I record this, so don't get any ideas here, but I just wanted to show you where all this stuff is. The next thing we wanna do is add our image to the Elastic Container Registry, ECR. We're going to say AWS ECR create repository, repository name, my Dino project. We'll set the region of our choice. And then we want to read back out our repository URI value that comes back. So this is going to give this back to us and we're going to use this to log in. So copy that to your clipboard and you can then run AWS ECR get login password. We'll set the region. We'll say docker login. Our username is AWS. The password standard input is this URL. Now that our login has succeeded, we're going to type docker tag my Dino project colon latest. And then we'll paste that URL again and tag it at latest. No news is good news there. That just means that it's been tagged and now we can push it to ECR, the Elastic Container Registry. So we'll say Docker push, we'll use the latest version, and then this will push that to the registry. Once we've done that, we have pushed our Docker image up there. Now we need to create a function that's going to host our app. So here we have the My Dino project in the registry. We need to now go to create our Lambda function. And this Lambda function you can find over here. You can go to Lambda. Then we will say create a function. We're going to select a container image. We're going to give our function a name. So we'll call it My Dino project. We'll click the Browse Images button. We will select from our images here. We're going to use the latest. We'll select the image. Now let's scroll down to create the function. Now about halfway down the page here, we have configuration. So configuration will take us to on the left nav, the function URL. We're going to create that function URL. We want to select none here because we don't want to perform any auth checks on our users. We just want to be able to visit this endpoint and be able to see our running app. Now, if we click 
this, we should see our app running in the browser. One thing to keep in mind with Lambda functions is cold start performance. Cold starts happen when AWS needs to initialize your function and it can cause some slight delays. So this is a pretty cool article that goes through Dino versus some other tools and some methodologies for how the tests were run. Using Dino with AWS Lambda allows you to quickly set up your app in a familiar environment.